All right, so this video, uh, I just wanted to show you my results. I have S plus in hardcore on both Leon and Claire. So I have the unlimited rocket launcher and the unlimited uh, minigun. I also have the unlimited knife and the unlimited LE5, which is all you need for the LE5 awesome gun is to just get standard S, not even S plus. But you can't use any of these S plus, uh, you can't use any of these unlimited weapons other than the knife, for now at least, they may patch it for an S plus run. But, so there's many people showing um, how to speed run. I was going to show my tactics, but there's so many better videos on how to speed run in that. So I wanted to teach you guys zombie control. It's very important because of how the zombies behave in this game, especially on hardcore. They're very fast, they're very grab grabby, and they pursue you really bad. They go through doors, they spin really quick like a, a fucking top. So you may think you got by them and boom, they spun around and bit you. The first method I want to show you is when a zombie is coming through a door. Why that's important is two things. When a zombie is banging on a door and coming through, you can't leave that room. You have to wait for that zombie to come in. There's nothing you can do. You can't push the door back on him. Absolutely nothing you can do. So you, you have two choices. Either stun him after he comes through the door or you um, run by him after he, immediately after he runs by the door. Jesus. So this is Open the guy up. that's going to be there. He's going to come up. through this door. Open this and the problem being is, there's a, number one, there's a file cabinet in the way. Or else I'd be right up against the door on that side. And as soon as he came through, run by. So that, that is a, really sucks. Number two is we don't want him in that hallway. There's going to be another zombie that comes through the, w the window. But just for to show you what I'm okay, talking you about, this works half of the time, I'd say. Now watch. I'm going to run to this file cabinet. Now, I'm not joking. As soon as he gets, you got to go. you got to go. And a lot of times he gets you. See how fast he turned? But the problem is now he's in there. We don't want them in the hallway. And these two, you can do the same. Run by them, but they're very fast. You can see how close they are to grabbing me. But you always, those two you always want to try to run by in a speed, and when you're trying to get S+. Plus. But this is one of the few doors where there's a file cabinet Jesus. right there. So I, I don't like to do that method. You can roll the dice and do it if you want, but... Now we're going to show the head stun. The head stun works, but it's a, a lot... It doesn't stun them that quick, and a lot of time they eat head bullets. Alright, he got stunned. I'm out, right? Now hopefully... See that? That's what we want. He stayed in that room. But these two, you always want to run by. When they do shit like this, walking around... But they're still very fast. Whenever a zombie is walking and shit like that, I'm just going to load. Um, you want to run around it. This is my preferred method I'll show you here as a leg stun. Leg stun is just easier to hit a leg because there's two and it's just a bigger hit, hit area. To, if you're not hit one, you're going to hit the other. It's a very small chance to miss. And it stuns them for longer. Not much, but... I think Jesus. it's better. Open up. Hurry. Open up. So we'll do that Open now too. That's your other option. You and again, for this room, we want them to just get a little bit further into the room. But we'll do the leg stun on this. And you'll see it's a little bit longer. We'll let him walk a couple of steps. He ate one leg shot. But there we go. See, that was a pretty long stun. And he's going to be... See, he's in that room now. That's what we want. And these two, again, 
Never shoot at these two guys. If, if zombies are doing that, you go around them. You just, you just gotta do it. Main points to take away from that is when a zombie is banging on a door, you can't go through it. So you just have to, you, you have to wait. And then you have to make your decision. Are you going to try to run by them? Which is the highest risk, in my opinion. You're going to head stun them? The second uh, best option. Or you're going to leg stun them? That, to me, is the best option. Uh, because it stuns them the longest. And they can control a little bit more of where they are. So now I'm going to show you the lunge. Now... Obviously, Leon is very slow run at running. You see this shit? The R in RPD definitely doesn't stand for running. So don't fucking... Just, just look. This is in a fine state. And it, that's very slow. The zombies, when they see you and are aggravated and they go after you, they usually are faster than this. So that's another reason why I don't like running around. Um... And I, I love the leg stun for me. So for this one, we're going to attempt the lunge. We'll see if I can get him the first one. Lunge is letting him jump towards you, letting him miss, and then running around him. It's, it's, it's hard to do, but it is possible. This guy at the candy machine is a good one to do it. So you want to just get his attention. So I'll just, I'm just going to shoot him with a body shot to get his attention. Now we want him to lunge and then get past them. He hasn't lunged yet. Yeah, see, he got me. But normally, and I don't like the defense weapons because see how quickly, you see how quickly he gets around from a knife? That's the lunge. You get him to come towards you, then you run immediately around him. So you go kind of close. And then go around him. It works. But it's it's very risky. Because he can get you. He can nail you. See? I'm doing it good. Surprisingly. But that's what you do. And also you can see. I don't like the knife. As a defense weapon on, on zombies. It works great on liquors. Because it knocks them down. And gives you... A good time to go around them but for a zombie it just knocks them backwards so by the time you can t try to run past them they've already recovered from the knife stab and a lot of times they'll bite you which is really annoying but let we'll do the lunge again I think it works better when you run at them and then run away so again we're gonna do I'm just gonna get his attention with a body shot <sighs> See, I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't, uh, run away when he, he lunged. I took too long. So that can show you that how bad that I got away, even in danger. You got to run towards him, turn, and then immediately, it, it's just a real pain in the ass. Can it be done? Are some people good at it? Sure, but... You can see how risky that is for a normal player like myself. Uh, so I don't recommend. So we'll practice more of the lunge dodging. Again, you want to uh, run at him, run, get him to lunge, immediately turn. So he got me. He got me. That. It's it's just such a pain in the ass to do it, dude. It is just such a pain in the ass. Because sometimes he lunges, sometimes he doesn't. Yeah, he got me. And even there, I hit LB. But you, you can see how unreliable this is. It's just hard to pull off, dude. Because you got to get him to, to lunge and then go right around him. It's so, and here's what I'm talking about. See how it throws him back after that? And see, he still got me. So that's why I don't like knives a lot of times. 
to stun zombies and go by them because a lot of times they do this shit. Now another thing for zombie control, even though they go through rooms, you can use that to your advantage. If it's a room that you're not going to be going back through ever again or, or maybe one or two times and there's no zombies in that zoom room, but there's more zombies in the room you're in, you can use that tactic to your advantage. Go through a door, let them follow you and break the door down and then run around them and go back out and now they're in that room. All right, so we'll get this guy to follow us. Say we weren't going to go in here, right? This one, fortunately, we can see him. You could actually shoot him through here if you wanted, you see? So that's one thing that's good about this door. But say, this is what I'm talking about zombies. Say if we weren't going to come back in this room, we could lead a zombie in here. And then run, get out, get out, and now guess what? He's going to be in here. Well, that asshole wasn't supposed to do that, but that's what's great about this game. They do this shit. But now he's that, at least that one guy is in there. But I could do the same with this guy. I could lead him, wait for him to come here. See? They, they, they're relentless. That's what you need to know about this game. They follow you. Now the other one's coming. Or he just came out of the other room. But you can see the leg stun is just such a, it's such a, it's such a winner. Now that guy's up, and I think the other guy, yeah, see? Now we got a party in here, but if we weren't coming back in here, we could have the hallway cleared. But now see what they're doing? They're trying to surround me. So now that's when we do the leg stun and try to get the hell out of there. And now, boom, I could get them all in that room, leave them all in there. So they're, they're not going to come out of there. Those other zombies, because I'm not over in that area, but they are gonna, they may camp the doors. They love to camp doors. So, now, another thing with stairs, and this guy, we can get him to fall down if we really wanted to. If you go here, he'll try, for whatever reason, he does that. And then we could leave him there. Look at him, he's going faster than than Leon can back up, which is a big problem. See that head stun? See how quickly he recovered? Watch a leg stun. See how it's a little bit longer? That's why I like the leg stuns. He's just walking like an idiot right now, like zombies do. He's got no, you know, br no brain, but Let's see if he comes through. Yeah, he doesn't like he doesn't like this door, but I'm telling you, you got to be very careful on these doors. See, he wasn't that far. See that shit? He was waiting there. That's what they'll do. They'll wait there. They'll wait at the door. If they don't knock it down, they camp it. That's another big the door stock, is like what I like to say. And then even if you peek, usually they'll lunge through and bite your ass. But we'll do the same thing with her, right? I'll show you a leg stun. Works really good. You got to be very careful when they get close because they speed up. That's another thing. Just I'm just I'm telling you, when they get close. See, they, they love to eat head bullets, headshots. I think they did it on purpose just to make you feel safe that you got one. And then they'll they'll tank it and run right through it. Not only walk, they'll... That's what you can hope for, but there's no way she's dead. She's going to get up. I can't even shoot there because she's in the fucking... Yeah, see, she's just going to get up. But what we can do is we can lead her in here, get her stuck in here if we wanted. She'll come in here. 
You just gotta watch it because she's fucking quick. Now I'll show you a, a, a fast run when you don't have a file cabinet in your way. See that? But see how see how quick she is? That's why I don't like doing the door run buys. You can do it, but a lot of times they'll fucking grab you, man. They're just so fucking fast. I'll do it again. And just watch. You're running the whole time. See how see how close she gets to me, bro? It's like I I, I just don't like doing it. I did it for speed runs, but you gotta be lucky, cause a lot of times she'll fucking get you. Not just her, any zombie. And sometimes I think I think she's door camping right now. Sometimes you'll get a little clue, cause you'll see their arm clip through the door if you're lucky. Uh, see, she's coming. But at least this door, you can get her a little bit around. But she's smart. You see how she's walking there? She cut the room off. I couldn't do anything. You see how that? She wasn't walking to one side. She may, she may not be dead, though. She is. We'll do it with this guy, too. We'll wake him up and get him to... See if we can get some lunging on him. It, I, I just don't like that dodge, dude. It's just so unreal unreliable it's hard to pull off at least for me I mean they're just too fast on hardcore it's just too risky and, and just the way they walk is like all over the fucking place you have no idea you see when they turn like that and stuff sometimes you can run by but it's, it's risky it's risky. You got me. You got me. It's just too... I, I hate doing it. I don't recommend doing it. Ah, shit. Almost looked like that one was getting up, too. Oh, yeah. I have not, obviously, perfected the, the lunge dodge, but... They're just harder on, on hardcore to dodge than they are on standard or assisted. It's just, they're just fast as shit. Oh, that's why I was wearing a police hat. I got a fucking huge bald spot. So this, uh, on hardcore, I, I go for the leg stun for the zombies. They'll even go out in the hallway. Like, you think you can, you're safe in, in the fucking uh, main hall? Think again. Let's see if this guy will go out there. I gotta open the door first, but I don't have the key. I didn't get the key. Fuck. I didn't get out there. And see how long that was. I shot him from way over there, and I still even hurt ran around him. Where's the headshot? He's tanking it. If you're lucky, he does that. And then, usually if they fall like that, sometimes they're dead. Because you can recover the item. But see, that didn't guarantee he was dead. I still got my knife, but he got up. Jesus. Shit. Missed that one. I'm trying to do all precision shots. Just to show that how much they tank on hardcore. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, even, even Leon doesn't know what the hell is going on. He's shooting fucking eyeballs and ears off. He's fucked. I missed that one. What the? He's just, and the way they walk is just so fucked. He may be dead now. Maybe not. Nope. See that shit? I mean, he's up again. He's gonna get up again. But his leg fell off, so that's one good thing. But you, sometimes they can walk with no foot. They have to have a complete no leg. Even like this, they're dangerous. Because they can get a little fast when they're close to you and climb you like a fucking ladder. Now I think he's dead. Maybe. Yeah, he's dead. But yeah, those are... I, w I would say the main zombie tactics. What to do. Uh, the only times... 
you know, if you're a regular player like me, you really want to try it. I wouldn't recommend doing the lunge dodge. It's cool to practice and then show off if you're good at it. But uh, you can see how unsuccessful I was with that. And I, S plus. I always go for the leg shot because, and, it, and there's two reasons for the leg shot. Number one is even if it doesn't stun them, it does damage on the leg. And it takes less shots to shoot a leg off than it does to usually pop their head. So a lot of times, if I shoot their leg off, even though they're dangerous on the ground, I can still run around them better than if they were walking, obviously. So that's why I, I do that usually. So I either stun them or their leg falls off, and then hopefully they're not a problem from there. Um, the doors, you saw, it can work, but it's not a guarantee. And... You want no obstructions in front of the door. Like the first one had a file cabinet. So even when he busts through the door, I got to run through all that to get there. And it's just, you can lead them through different rooms, um, which can and or cannot be helpful. Because sometimes like the library like this, if you had a bunch of them following you in here, you don't want that shit. So, you know, it goes both ways. But uh, yeah, those are zombie tactics that I think hopefully would be useful when you're doing your S plus runs and there's so many people like I said that show how to do the runs and the better ways to do them it makes no point for me to do that but I, I haven't seen too many show a zombie tactics video so hopefully that helps helps you guys get S plus hopefully